In this lecture, we are going to discuss the structures and the replications of the hepatitis C virus. So let's get started. First of all, we will look at the structures of the hepatitis C virus. So basically, hepatitis C virus belongs to the flavivirus family and it is actually the enveloped virus. So in the outermost, you will see the presence of the envelope. Okay. This is the envelope of the hepatitis C virus. So in the envelope, you will see the two most important glycoproteins. Okay. So here are basically the different spikes of the glycoprotein. This one, this is the E1 and the E2 glycoproteins. Glyco proteins okay that are actually uh, submerged in the uh, envelope okay inside the envelope you will see the presence of the capsid that is actually made up of the protein so here in the red color that is actually the capsid icosahedralin shape okay and inside the capsid you will see the presence of the single stranded rna okay so inside the capsid you will see the presence of the single stranded RNA and that RNA is actually the positive polarity, positive polarity RNA. What does it mean by the positive polarity? Positive polarity means that that RNA sequence, nucleotide sequence is just similar to the messenger RNA or you can say that this positive polarity single stranded RNA will act as a messenger RNA as well. Okay, that is the important thing about the positive polarity single stranded RNA. And there is no segmented form. It means that you will see just one segment of the positive polarity single stranded RNA. So basically, hepatitis C virus is actually a RNA virus. Okay, so here is the general structures of the hepatitis C virus. Now, we will look at the replication of the hepatitis C virus. How does hepatitis C virus replicate inside the hepatocytes cells of the liver? Okay. So, first of all, if you see here, this is the hepatitis C virus, okay, having envelope outside and you will see the different spikes and inside you will see the presence of the single stranded positive polarity RNA and at one side you will also see the presence of the lipoprotein that is the most important component. Hepatitis C virus also associate with the lipoprotein so that's why we overall called it lipoviral particle. Okay, we will discuss how lipoprotein attached to the hepatitis C virus. Okay, first of all you will see this lipoviral particle actually present in the blood stream okay it will enter into the hepatocytes okay uh, through the endocytosis process okay now in that case you will see the endocytosis process okay and in this case you will see here is the endosomes okay and inside the endosome you will see the presence of the hepatitis C virus okay that is the important thing okay now in the endosome you will see uh, the low pH happening in the endosome and due to the low pH you will see ultimately release of the release of the positive polarity single stranded RNA okay as we have discussed uh, RNA is positive polarity so it's, it means that it will just act as a messenger RNA okay now this positive polarity single stranded RNA will go towards the ribosome so basically here is the nucleus okay and after that you will see the presence of the endoplasmic reticulum so here in the green color is actually the endoplasmic reticulum there are two types of the endoplasmic reticulum smooth and the rough so at the rough side you will see the presence of lot of ribosomes okay so here are basically the ribosomes that are actually present on the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum. Now this positive single stranded RNA will go towards the ribosome and 
uh, at that side you will see the translation process now this positive polarity single stranded rna will translates into the poly proteins okay now you will see the formations of the poly proteins there are lot of proteins form in just one sequence okay after that you will see the cleavage of the poly proteins because in the poly proteins you will see the lot of segments of the different proteins okay after that you will see the cleavage of the poly proteins now this cleavage is done by the hepatitis c virus protease okay okay so that is the protease okay now protease will cleave the different proteins okay so majorly you will see the two most important protein structural proteins and the non structural protein s protein and the ns protein s proteins you will see the glycoproteins e1 e2 and the core proteins like the capsid and in the non structural proteins you will also see the different ns2 ns4 ns5 but we will uh, just look more in detail about the ns5a protein that is important non structural protein ns5a okay an important thing which you have to remember is the protease so basically there are lot of antiviral drugs that actually inhibit the protease so in this case you will see lot of different anti a viral drug and that is the pgbts okay that is the peritaprevir grazoprevir glacaprevir bosiprevir talaprevir semiprevir so here is the mnemonic to remember the different drugs that actually block the protease that is the peritaprevir grazoprevir glacaprevir talaprevir bossy prevair and the semi prevair okay now you will see the formations of the different proteins okay in the virus you will see just the two most important component genome and the protein now after that you will see the replication of the single stranded rna okay now this one after that you will see the synthesis of the rna okay first of all with the help of the rna polymerase with the help of the rna polymerase you will see the synthesis of the rna first of all positive polarity of rna will first of all convert into the negative polarity single stranded rna okay after that this negative polarity will make lot of copies of the positive polarity single stranded rna so there are basically the formation of the lot of copies of the single stranded rna okay so now you will see the formation of the two most important component protein component and the genome component in that case okay and after that you will see the formations of the capsid okay inside the capsid uh, you will see the presence of the positive polarity rna and outside you will see the envelope this whole process will happens in just here in the endoplasmic reticulum okay and after that finally you will also see the attachment of the lipoprotein that will also happen in that case in the endoplasmic reticulum now you will see the whole lipo viral particle formation in that case okay so the most important function of the ns5a it is actually uh, helpful in the replication of the rna genome okay and it is also helpful in the assembly of the viral assembly of the proteins and the genome that is the important uh, function of the ns5a and there are lot of drugs that actually uh, inhabit the ns5a function and you will remember it by the mnemonic and that is the develop d v l okay so here are basically the declatasvir albasvir velpatasvir ledipasvir ombitasvir and pibrentasvir so here are basically the different drugs antiviral drugs that actually inhibit the ns5a function so i'll repeat declatasvir albasvir 
वेलपटस वेयर एंड लेडिपस वेयर ऑम्पिटस वेयर एंड पाइब्रेंटस वेयर ओके सिमिलरली देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट ड्रग्स दैट एक्चुअल ब्रॉक दी आर एन ए पॉलीब्रेस एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सोफोस्यूवेयर एंड डेसाव्यूवेयर ओके so after that you will see this lipoviral particle will enter into the blood stream through the exocytosis it will enter in, into the um, hepatocyte through the endocytosis and exit through the uh, hepatocyte through the exocytosis and now it will enter into the blood stream so this is all about the structure and the replication of the hepatitis c virus if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much